Welcome to Basketball You. If you're new to Basketball You, make sure you slam dunk that subscribe button. And just to make sure you don't miss a thing, make sure you tap that notification bell right after you hit that subscribe button. Basketball You. Look how much we have grown together. Happy to be back, and we are glad to be back. Make sure to keep hitting that like button and don't forget to tell your friends and teammates about Basketball U if they are looking for a place for basketball skills and knowledge about the game. Today, we bring you a position where some of the strongest, most hard-nosed, and some would say bullies out of all the positions we are going to talk to you about during our position breakdown series. Even though this position is known for its physicality, it is also a position you have to have skill and athleticism in, but in a different way than we have explained. The power forward, also known as the four, is an integral part of any basketball team that intends to play with toughness and physicality. Traditionally, the power forward is a player who is bigger and stronger than the point guard, shooting guard, and small forward, but a bit shorter and quicker than the center. The power forward is primarily considered an interior player that scores in the post. But depending on the offense, they will most likely also have to be comfortable on the perimeter in order to be a considered dominant. Five traits of a dominant power forward. A great power forward will be asked to do a number of things on both ends of the court. But many of those are things that not all players can do. So what characteristics can make a dominant power forward in particular? Number one. Toughness. Toughness is a skill that is overlooked by many when looking for the guy that is going to lead your team with their play and for a song vocally. Toughness can be improved based on the environment of practices and the team moral. At first starts with not being afraid to communicate with your teammates. Being in the four man position, you tend to be in places on the floor where you can see plays start to develop when on the defensive end and you can call out things for your team to move properly or for your guard to move out of the way of a screen. Another skill that is associated with toughness is diving for loose balls. Getting on the floor shows your team and everyone in the gym or arena that you will do whatever it takes just for a possession. That type of play speaks volumes to everyone. Number two, versatility. While it is true that a great power forward is most likely a big, strong player who physically imposes his will, he will not be a truly dominant player if he or she is just a one-dimensional bully. The best power forwards are the players who can provide the strength and toughness mentioned above with the skill to step out and be serviceable on the perimeter as well. Especially if the power forward is playing within a four out one end offense, the center may be the player who primarily occupies the block. That means that the power forward must be able to handle the ball on the perimeter if necessary. And more importantly, the step out and knock down a mid range shot or three pointer. Versatility should especially be stressed at the youth levels where players are not done growing or developing. The player who meets the physical traits of a power forward for an elementary school team could become the point guard or the center in the future. Number three, strength. While a player has to have some natural size to be qualified as a power forward, he must combine that size with strength in order to be considered dominant. A dominant power forward is probably the strongest player on the team and also has to be the most willing to use that strength. A player who is asked, to be one of the team's best rebounders and defenders while being matched up against the opponent's biggest players will have to be strong in order to be successful. Number four, size. It is important for players to be comfortable in multiple spots on the court. Size does still matter. The ideal power forward is big enough to create shots for themselves in the post and also to defend the other team's biggest players. Number five, Screen to create opportunities for teammates. Unless the power forward happens to be the best player on the team, they're probably not expected to be the primary scorer. As a big, strong, tough player, you have to depend on the power forward to set physical screens that create opportunities for teammates to score. Of course, all players are expected to screen, but it needs to be a strength in order for a player to be considered a dominant power forward. Roles and responsibilities. Power forward is expected 
to be a big, strong, tough player who can also play with skill. But how should they use those traits exactly? Even though the power forward is a physical player who is not afraid of contact, this does not mean that he is simply a big body or an enforcer. Here are a few specific responsibilities of a power forward. A, rebound on both ends of the court. The power forward's most important responsibility is being a rebounder. The skill of rebounding is so much more than just jumping up to grab a ball. The skill of rebounding explained by Hall of Famer and basketball icon, probably more for his antics off the court, is Dennis Rodman. I just practice a lot about the angle of the ball and the trajectory of it. You got a Larry Bird, it's going to spin. You got a, a Magic, and maybe spin. When Michael Shue over here, I position myself right there. Now I hit the rim, it's boom, uh, click, and go back this way, boom, here, here, click, and go that way, boom, that way, click here, and go back this way. Okay, if you didn't understand that, to put it in more simpler terms, the trajectory of the ball will allow you to understand where the ball may end up when coming off the rim. A skill of anticipation is something you have to have in this position because sometimes it will help you against a taller, more skilled player if you can get a quicker or smaller advantage by getting to a spot before they do. Understanding that usually the team who gets the most rebounds will most of the time end up getting the most shots and that the team who gets the most shots will usually score the most points. Therefore, as one of the strongest and toughest players on the team, the power forward has to be a great rebounder on both ends of the court. When a teammate takes a shot on the offensive end, the power forward must fight for an offensive rebound to create second chance points as well. The power forward will most likely be the team's leading rebounder or second if the team has a great rebounding center as well. B. Defend the biggest, strongest opponents. As one of the biggest and toughest players on the team, it's the power forward's responsibility to defend the biggest and toughest players on the other team. Of course, this is not always an easy task. This is where size, toughness, and strength become absolutely necessary. A player who lacks even one of these traits can find themselves getting scored against in the low post or getting beat for offensive rebounds. Depending on the situation and the personnel for both teams, it's also impossible that the power forward will have to guard players who are slightly smaller and quicker, and also players who are slightly bigger and stronger. C. Extend the defense as a capable shooter. The difference between a power forward who is just a strong physical brute and a truly dominant power forward is oftentimes the ability to contribute from the perimeter. Depending on the age and skill level, power forwards who are able to only play bully ball may sometimes be very difficult to stop. But as both the age and skill level go up, a power forward will have to be capable of more in order to dominate. A team-oriented offense with versatile players is much harder to stop than one that is centered around just one or two players. A power forward who can step out and make an open mid-range or three-point jump shot gives your team a much better chance to play offense with that philosophy. A strength in order for a player to be considered a dominant power forward. D, make hustle plays and bring energy. As one of the toughest on the team, it's the power forward's responsibility to make hustle plays. The hustle plays may consist of diving on the floor for loose balls, taking charges, and boxing out. A great power forward who is the strongest player on the team is responsible for initiating that energy. Just like your team's selflessness and flow will often begin with your point guard, your team's toughness and energy will often begin with your power forward. E. Game film. Just like every other position, it is vital to watch yourself especially when in this position because you will have to understand your strengths and weaknesses, as well as finding ways to exploit your opponent's techniques and schemes to put them at a disadvantage. Game film allows you to see how you play from a perspective you're not used to seeing it from, the same perspective everyone else sees in television. It can be viewed in real time, slow motion, or fast forward to see how things play out in different angles. Once you study enough, you can be a dominant power forward. In conclusion, dominance physical and mental toughness and endurance will help you succeed in this position. 
For those who will end up playing this position, understand that you don't need a play called for you and you don't have to have all the skills required in the positions explained in past episodes. Hard work and being dedicated to getting boards and finishing those points you earned will usually turn into a nice point total based on your work ethic. Your energy is the driving force to the team's success as you create multiple opportunities with your skill of creating more shots for your teammates. You're the glue that holds your team together. With size, strength, and toughness, a power forward can be a serious key to your team. Traits that every coach wants all of their players to have. However, a power forward can be dominant if he couples these traits with great physical conditioning, the willingness to make selfless plays, and the versatility to both defend and rebound and also score from multiple spots on the court. The player who provides that rare combination to become a dominant power forward can bring that same toughness and energy out of their teammates and ultimately can be the driving force behind your team's overall identity. This is Basketball U. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, follow all of our social medias right there in the description to keep yourself up to date as this channel will have a lot of basketball, a lot of players, and a lot of training and more information on how to play the game of basketball. Remember, someone's always working. Are you? 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 you.